What's up folks, Commander Sol here, and welcome back to our Sorek Ironbrow campaign in Warhammer 2 Total War's Vortex campaign. Last time we kicked Clan Mange around and, well, we eliminated Clan Grange and we... Grange? Mange. Clan Mange. And we also took the Confederation with the Southern Spine of Sotek Dwarves. Spine of Sotek Dwarves, not Southern Spine of Spine. Blair. The Southern Spine of Sotek. There we go. Always are best. Now, I think I can reach... Oh, we're encamped. We would be able to reach Oxal. Come on. So we're going to recruit two units of slayers. And Clan Pestilence, oh, they did take a second settlement. Probably this one. No, you won't, Skrulk. Get to the Thagaraki. Make them pay. Ah, should we auto resolve this one? I don't think so. But we will go straight in. Uh, actually, what's the battle map look like? Let's find out what the battle map looks like. Oh my word, this is slow. Oh, it's the same one as the other one. We're going to fight this. Auto-resolve would be fine, but I'm going to fight it. Because I didn't fight the last battle, and I know some of you in the comments, even though it was recorded not five minutes ago, will be telling me to fight more battles. So I shall fight this one, and I will see you on the battle map. And here we are. I like how it immediately puts us up against the con the area of wall with the highest concentration of towers. This is not what we are going to do. We are going to have a rerun of the last battle we fought. So we're just going to get all of our infantry, except that one, line them up here. That one's going to be there. Where's the hill? You're going to stand there to protect them. And they are going to completely annihilate the majority of this army. Oh, we got the ruin of Ruros and Ruin. Ooh. Oh, they actually used it this time. Oh, bloody skirmish mode. Get rid of skirmish mode. And the clan rats are broken. Sorry for being a bit quiet. 
I am just organising my army. The Iron Drakes are going up the ladders. Are they accumulating anywhere? No, not really. Oh. oh, they just moved. One, that's much better. Ooh. Try and target him. The Slayers will massacre those guys. Come on, throw some of your blasting charges. Yes. Slay everything without a beard. Oh, I love the rune magic. Hmm. Okay, you're not very good at hitting him, so you're going to fire at those guys. Okay, you're going to go up there and help. The gate is almost gone. Can't cast two at a time. I forgot about that. Where are you gone? Stop. You're just going to go there. And you're going to go there. Why are you up here? You two are going to go over there. Throw some of your blazing pots. Ooh. Oh, I love Skaven. They melt so fast. How much damage would that do? Probably not much. The 
fulfills might. Oats fulfill. Scamp back, scamp back. Oh, oh, oh. And this is it. Just the prospect of the Slayers nearing the town centre made these night runners flee for their lives. Liquidator. Ooh. Oh, I think that's the thing where a Lord gets 100 kills in a single battle. Well, I should have got that last time, because Thoric got 116. Ah, oh, well, end battle. Let's see how well everybody did. I think the most kills would probably go to... Oh, the Iron Breakers. Doesn't really surprise me. But what does surprise me is that... Oh, Slayers did really well as well. Yeah, that was a pretty good battle. I'm actually surprised that we got so few losses there. Most of them came from the Slayers. Mainly because the Slayers are not very well armoured. They only have 10 armour. And most of that probably comes from their belts. But I'll see you back on the campaign map. And we are back. I do know that you can rename um, your units. So, if any of you have suggestions for unit names, please let me know. Uh, I especially want the Ironbreakers to have a cool name. And I suppose the Grudge Throwers as well. Those two units would be the preferable ones. And the Longbeards with great weapons. I could come up with names on my own, but I would like to see what you have to suggest. Claim it for the throng! Thoric Ironbrow! Please note that I will not accept any stupid names. The Exterminator. That's nice. Oh, didn't mean to click that. And now is lagging. Okay, there we go. Get rid of that. Um... Let's get that. And Thoric. I think I've gone down that enough with you, so let's get Root Marcher. I've got the rune that matters for Thoric. Ready. Where's the one that gives public order? Can we not get that until this is level 2? Ah, we can't. So, let's get the Trinket Maker, I suppose. Oh, no. The Exotic Animal Tamer. Right, what's the third here? The Sentinel of Time. Between, uh, while we were, while I was paused during the, um reloading the campaign screen, I came to the conclusion that Hugh Grim Redaxe is in need of a runesmith. Uh, let's quickly check the building browser. Where do we get the runesmith? That's the Thane? No, that's the Master Engineer. There it is. The Armoury. We're going to get that, first of all, in... Oh, what's this? Hall of Oaths, Royal Guard. Is that the Thane? That's the Thane. Okay. So there are multiple ways to get the Thane, because you can also get the Thane from the Mustering Hall. Hmm. Oh, well. Hammers, where are they? They come from here, don't they? Yeah, they do. They come from the Gromril Forge. So in 11 turns, we'll get that. And in 15 turns, we'll get this. We just need the public order to improve. Rune Lord of Garakazol. How many turns was this? 11, but that'll get it to level 2, and we need it to be to level 3. Time for a reckoning. So yeah, it's going to be faster here. 
It takes so long to grow dwarven settlements, my word. It's probably it's because of the public order slowing it down. That is the cause. Yeah, we only need two pop for that, so 15 turns or less when it starts fixing the public order. End the turn. I will take the uh, Sentinel of Time if I can get there in time. If I cannot, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. They might actually have the marks of the old ones instead of the Sentinel of Time. Nope, they have the Sentinel of Time, which they just confirmed. But where did Skrulk go? I'm going to need to send, um... Oh, if you want to, me to rename the Runesmith, I will do that. But I need him. Search Ruins. Rune of Grimnir, Missile Resistance, that's worth it. Oh, they sacked it. There's no garrison there. So we can just take this. Thank you, guys. I'm listening. Well, that was nice and easy. Rune Lord. Yeah, let's get that done. And then let's head back up to Oxil. Because Clan Pestilence is not gone. So they have the marks of the old ones. No, they have no settlements. Uh, let's get public order up. Hmm, Dark Elves. No, that's not Dark Elves, that's Teclis. What's Teclis doing? Okay, now we can get a trade agreement with the Southern Sentinels. Yeah, it's Teclis, all right. Hello, Rokasar, Hewini Clanzo, Shusha. Here, Kiko. Order of Law Masters. Of truth. We're considerably stronger, so they probably won't attack. Let's get the trinket maker. I would like some additional. What? The runes are ready. The runes' duty is never done. Back to the forges. Oh, good. We're gaining public order here now. That's very nice. Which means we should get growth increasing again soon. And here as well. Good. Good. Rune Lord of Garakazol. Arcane wisdom. This army is 15 out of 20, so we can get some stuff here, but Honestly, we're just waiting for growth at this stage. Is there anything we can do to increase the growth rate? Other than dismantle one of our buildings? To war. Which I don't want to do. I'll dismantle that and get a growth building in there so that we can get it back next. Yep, there's Teclis. Let's 
Citadel of Dusk. Those sound like Dark Elves. Yeah. We need Sagros. We can actually start increasing uh, Hugo and Red Axe's army. Uh, so what do we need to do? Clad Brakak. We need to search a ruined settlement. I will now check if... No, Clan Pestilence has a... Sing now. Well, I guess the next settlement we take, we just raise and then we can search it the next turn. Altar of the Horned Rat. Unbending. Quietly does it. Oh, hello, Loki, fell hot. Yeah, this settlement, this province is going to be the only one I take that's in not mountains. If I can help it. Because I don't really want to take anything that isn't mountains. I mean, we do have... It is a suitable climate for us, the jungle. But we're dwarves. We belong in the mountains. Oh, we also can't recruit. Because I got rid of the thing. Oh, that was... Oh, right. That's this one. Ha ha. Faction destroyed Sentinels of Zeti. Clan declared Clan Spittle, which is Skaven on the Southern Sentinels. Wonder where they are. Oh. I could do with the gross. Master Rune Lord. It's going to be Clan Pestilence. Oh, that's a different faction. Stink of command. On we go. Dwarves never tire. Off we go. Let's hope they don't want to attack us. Because they could. But they've just attacked these guys, so they probably won't. Let's upgrade Oxel. Oixel. Scrutinize guild leaders. Dwarf and... Oh. That's pretty good. Now, with any luck, they won't attack us, but if they do, In I think I can win. Times, perhaps we should stand together. I mean, I'll take the money. I don't need the money, but thank you. Oh, the Blessed Dread is at war with the Court of Libarus. I mean, I'll happily accept that. The Winds of Pain... Uh, that's unfortunate. Amaran Anvil. Bring honor to the old. Let's just sit in here for a little bit. Let us begin. How many turns? Two turns. That's good. I guess we just end the turn again. When I find out where. Pestilence is, I will attack them. But for now, I just don't know where they are. I'll also move Hugrim Red Axe up this way when um, it is time. 
that I'm slightly concerned that Teclis will attack. One more turn. Five more turns. Two turns. If you want something done right. Uh, we could get a couple more quarrelers. We could get some blasting charges, more dwarf warriors. But honestly, I don't want to get any of that. I want to get some better units. Uh, what can I get at tier two? Quarrelers, grudge throwers. I could do with another grudge thrower unit. That would be nice. And then we can get Thunderers and Iron Drakes. Hmm. Would be nice to get a Gyrocopters as well. Flying units are quite fun. But honestly, the Grumroll Forge would be brilliant. I don't like that I'm just ending turn a lot, but there's not much else I can do right now. Not without annoying somebody else when we only have one proper army. There we go. Always are best. The gate would be nice. But so would be some beer. Yeah, let's go for the siege workshop for now. What? How many turns? Four turns. Let's get that, and then let's go for interlocking shields. will be nice. What was our highest rat poison? Ooh. Slayer's onslaught, the slayer oath, Grimnir's favour, pressure regulating valves. Yeah, just go slowly on to upgrade all of our stuff. Mm, there's Teclis with some more that's a second army. Oh, Teclis is bringing some force to bear in this area. Oh, Libaris is now at war with Sotek. And because we have a non-aggression pact, that's probably not good. Iron will. Sorry, because we have a non-aggression pact with the cult of Sotek. Let's see what else we can build. This would be nice, a yoked carnosaur, but the spark gem is a way up north. You can get the troll slayer's axe, that's really good. Prospector's pickaxe, pretty good. Starbreaker, we're actually pretty close to getting. Where is... That's the closest location. That is the closest location. Okay then, that's annoying. Hmm. Looks like we're not getting Starbreaker anytime soon. So what other weapons? What's the other high tier weapon? Elfbane. Marble. Well, we're probably not going to be fighting against elves all that much. So the Gatekeeper's Hammer. Where's Marble? Oh. Oh. Now that's interesting. Hates vampires, kingdom come. Climate is irrelevant, power is everything. If they attack us, I will fight back hard with Hugrim Red Axe. So we'll be building the uh, recruitment centre here as well. Unbending. Let's 
there any other ruined settlement around here that I can send my hero to? I'll just send him around. He can do this one first, because he's here. Transpital is still here. Oh, follow a gained rune bearer. Thank you. There's got to be actual ruins before it will count as our objective. The Golden Colossus I'm very likely to raise and not occupy because it's unsuitable terrain. Good, Teclis. Go that way, Teclis. Not towards the caverns of the Great Bat. Oh, speak. Uh, as I was talking about earlier with renaming set uh, units and heroes, the caverns of the Great Bat. Don't really like that name. Oh, rank gained, Hugo Red Axe. That's handy. Um. He's already got a massive amount of... Oh, that's good. That's very good. Vigor loss reduction is massive. Okay, one more turn there. Pestilens. I think they're here. Tried and tested. Oh, grudge thrower. Yep, let's get one of those. I do like my grudge throwers. Three turns here. It's taking so long, and I wish it didn't. Because I just want to get some long beards. Oh no, they come from this one. So we're going to have to upgrade Thrice Cursed Peak instead of the Mine of the Bearded Skulls. Which has the landmark we can get at this tier. Ah. It might be worse just going for this one, because then we can upgrade this... No. If we want long beards, we've got to go for Thrice Curse Peak first. It will also give us the highest tier gold mine, I think. So let's check the forge again. Armor, anything good here? Iron beards, armor. Oh, Gatekeeper's Helm. Yeah, let's save up and give that to Hugh Grim Red Axe. Talismans? Oh, I said save up, didn't I? Mm, it's going to be a while, but. I think it's worth saving up for. It's a good armour. It'll be faster if we get in some battles. Ah, there we go. Central Spine of Sign of Spotek. <laughs> Central room, Spine of Sotek. Let's drink and Gorok. I mean, I've got loads of money for this, so sure. I don't fancy fighting lizard men at the moment. Oh yeah, they're definitely in the Mortuary of Stool. Zulakwa. The Awakened? Um, that's... Not good. Let's bring the Runesmith back immediately. Central Spine of Sotek. Yes, upgrade that. Yes, upgrade that. Get me that. Two more turns, just two turns, come on. So annoying. Waiting, just in the insufferable waiting. Right of primeval glory performed. Uh, 
So maybe nobody holds the uh, altar of the horned rat. Oh, hello, Hellkeek. It's just teleported over. Improve the omens or do nothing. We've got so much money. Let's just improve the omens. Next round. No, two more ranks, then we can get that. Okay, let's unlock the Rune of Slowness so we can get Forge Fire and get Zorek some new runes. Research available! Dwarf and Resolve. Sharpen weapons. The rune's duty is never done. Is there anything we can give you? No, not really. Hugrim Red Axe. Oh, we can give him the Rune of Iron as well as the Master Rune of Gromril? Are you kidding? That's insane. I'm not going to. That would be ridiculous. And I'm going to save it for the runesmith that we're going to get in a couple of turns. Ooh, Chiquimul can do something like upgrade this to get Quarrelers. There we go. Now we can finally get Longbeards. Pestilent Scheme Priest. Oh, you cheeky bastards. He's going to give me a plague. That implies that there's no longer a connection. No, indeed, there is not. Thrice Cursed Peak. Oh, four turns. Ugh. I don't have enough money. Oh dear. Oh, looks like we're getting a trinket maker here then. Money, money, money. Time for a reckoning. I think it's more of just we're spending money fast at the moment. 150. We now need only another 50 before we can get that really good thing. Ah ha ha ha. Oh, it has walls. Ha 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 ha! Oh, it doesn't have walls. Well, there is really no point in fighting this one. How much did we kill? Oh, we killed 406. That's going to be a tough fight. Because they're both still there. He's going to make a scheme. No, he's not. Okay. That is a problem. I should have pushed immediately and found where they were. But I did not do that. <coughs> right the wrong. Or a wrong put... It's the same. Honour is all. Does that mean we've been issued a grudge? Nope. Always our best. Right, I'm going to pull you back into this province. If we lose this entire province for a minute, that's acceptable. The important thing is that we don't lose these provinces that are our heartlands. Oh. That would be nice for the additional public order. But we really need money.
We can prevent them from taking the Mine of the Bearded Skulls or the Thrice Cursed Peak. This one has walls, the Mine of the Bearded Skulls. Thrice Cursed Peak does not. That's where Lord Skrulk is going. He's going to spread plague now, I suspect. Doesn't look like it. Wish I could kill him with an agent, but we don't have a Thane, and I think that's the one that can do that. The winds of magic change. Unfortunately, we're going to need to get some more units before we can get Longbeards. Even more unfortunately, we might not be able to afford Longbeards when we can get them. Get to the Skullpake is here. Lord Skrulk is definitely going after the Mine of the Bearded Skulls. There's nowhere else for him to go. Guest. He cannot attack immediate. Oh, he can. He's got a trebuchet. All right. Well, we've got to smash both Scalpake and Skrulk, and then take all four of these regions. Gotri Grimson has ranked up. I think it's time for Forge Fire. I'm listening. March. Seeking knowledge. Let's go to ambush stance. He won't attack that immediately, or at least he shouldn't. One turn more until that. We are running out of money. But when we defeat Lord Skrulk's army, we should get a bunch. Oh, he moved. Where'd he go? He fled. He ran away. Now, if I underway over there, that'll be a problem. Get to the we don't have enough money. Oh, dear. That would be nice. Now, he has to move out of the underway stocks. He's only got a 16 stack. Oops, wrong button. Always our best. Quick about it. Good, there is no other army in this area. Hmm. I really wish we had slightly more money. That's not a worth spending 1300 to make an extra 100. This, I need to get this runesmith. 4000 gold, two turns. Uh, where was it? Where was the thing we were going to get? 200. Gatekeeper's helm. How much do we have? 176. Oh, wow, we got... Oh, 10 from missions this turn. Right, Lord Skrulk, please attack me. Please. Please don't move too far. 
He went to Grockmore Crater. Grockmore Crater. Now, I am going to chase him down, of course. To do otherwise would be foolish. I should have just pursued Clan Pestilence immediately. Beastmen now. Rune Lord of Garakazol. Come on. On we go. Off we go. We know Skrulk is here. Pyrrhic victory, huh? How Pyrrhic? Not Peric enough to kill any of my units, apparently. But this one I will fight. They've got Plague Claw Catapults. That's a problem. Otherwise, this army is really quite weak, other than those three units of Plague Rats, uh, Plague Monks, four units of Plague Monks. But yeah, otherwise, this army is pretty weak. He's only got himself, and I think Skrulk is a mage. Yes, he's a spellcaster. He's also rank four. But I'm not sure if he's got warp lightning yet. Yeah, they can build, they can summon clan rats. Well, let's fight this one. And this will be the thing that ends the episode, probably. A massive showdown with Lord Skrulk. Hmm. We have a bunch, we have solid inf We're going to win this. So let's get into it. I will see you on the battle map. And here we are. Once again, we're fighting on this old map, huh? That'll make this very simple. I will leave one unit of Dwarf Warriors to protect them. Right, I'm going to quickly set up the army. We are going to get both of our Lord and Hero to attack the gate. We shall get the Iron Drakes here. Actually, no, we shall get the Iron Drakes here. The Longbeards here. The Slayers here and here. These two here. And these three here. And put it back onto normal speed. Fire on the Plague Monk sensor bearers, please. There. Yep, good job. You decided to charge straight into the Slayers. Oh, they already got there. Well, that's good. Is that Lord Skrulk? That is Lord Skrulk. Oh, and again, where is it this time?
you're going to go over here and join the assault. Crispy Skaven! <laughs> it's Crispy Ratman time! That was a terrible place to spawn an enemy unit. Oh no, play Claw Catapults. Those need to get shut down. Are those other Slayers? You're going there. You? Nope, you? Nope. Oh, play Claw Catapults. Oh god, this is horrible. Yeah, I know my Lord's under attack, there's not much I can do about that. I mean, we're winning this convincingly. We just need to get something to deal with those catapults. Uh, fire at will. Get these guys down here. Sorry I'm not talking too much. This is a fairly intense battle. Where's Lord Scroll? Right, where's the other one? Is it this guy? Yes, it is. Is Skrulk in here? Right, come on, come on. Charge! Is that Skrulk? That's Skrulk. Perfect. Not perfect, but good enough. Oh, 
Boom. Come on, charge! The Karazhan Corps! They in range? They're in range. Hit them! Oh good, we've won. There we go. That was painful. Oh, we only lost 200. And we killed Lord Skrulk. They have nothing left. That was good. Decisive victory, not a Pyrrhic victory like it predicted. 200 is more than I would like to have lost, but that was not bad at all. See you back on the camp. Okay, I'm just going to bring you back quickly to show you that Sorek Ironbrow killed 297 on his lonesome. The next best is the um, Grudge Thrower with 208. Yep, that's all. Back on the campaign map, I shall meet you. And here we are back on the campaign map. It's now saying that Thoric got 378 kills on his own, but I do not think that is correct. I think that that means, quite simply, that when all of the ones who'd fled were, kill, were killed off, it added them to here. Yeah, that's definitely the case. We're just going to raise this settlement. Yeah, just raise it. Now the grudge is repaid. Defeated Lord Scrog. Oh, immune to oh, Swamp Patrician. Public order minus five local Lost enemy problems. Ooh. One more grudge Do you have some armor, Gotry? No, you don't. Have the Dragon Helm. Reduced to ashes because I raised a settlement. And now we get the runesmith from the armory. Unlock zero recruitment runesmith. Yes, good. There's Skullpake. He can't get here in one turn. And in any case, I suspect he's after Oixel instead. If he takes it, I'll accept that. We're going to take Subartoon next turn. What are you doing, Fagribar? Who's that? Guar? Is that Itza? Is that Itza? There? Oh, there's Sniven. And he's just... Oh, I should have known that he'd do that. Oh no, that's Grook the Stonehorn. Right. Somebody claimed the Sword of Cain. Rune of Heart and Home. Rune of Negation. Oh, that's good. Let's relate the speed up. When fighting greenskins, that's completely useless. Let's finish up the Rune of Wrath and Ruin for you, my good sir. Ooh, he went somewhere. I won't put my name to such actions. If you want something done right. Ah, oh, Scalpake, there you are. Not enough warpstone. Oh. I can attack him. And I will. 
But I think that will lay wait for the next episode, which will not be airing today. My axe thirsts for war. Or maybe it will. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. How much to upgrade this? 4,080. 4,080. Hmm, should I record the third episode today? I am not sure at this time. But what I am sure of is that that's enough for now. So thank you all for watching. I have been Commander Soul. Over and out.